Hello, this is my little series on showing how to code, I guess. It's it's meant to showcase my uh, development of how I can do things for a portfolio, but there is going to be some, I guess, it's going to be worked in a formula of a tutorial, so you can learn from it, I guess, if my explanations are good enough. So to start off here, I have a um, Visual Studio open which is going to be my compiler for this series and I will be programming in C-sharp. Now, there we go, C-sharp Visual Studios. And I believe I'm using version 2018, but that doesn't matter. Now, for this particular part, I'll be doing input, output, and variables. Now, what does it mean by input, output, and input it is something that we input ourselves and output is the what the program gives to us. So if I press a five now, uh, we don't have anything. Well, these are like, these automatically generate, so let's just ignore them. So how can we send output? We can write console.write line and I don't know if you've if you looked into programming, you've probably seen this before. This would say, hello world. It's like this little staple of programming. The first program you make, it says, hello world. <laughs> then, yeah, but we can put anything we want. So, like, how are you? There you go. So, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what I have here in green, just to explain this, is a comment. Comments are some things that are not read by the program. Uh, and then let's have a look. This is another way to make comments. Now, moving on to um, this little section, I will be showing you. So let's just say we want to, yeah, let's just say we want to use this for something meaningful. So we'll do console.writeline and we can do things like, what is your name? And we can ask the user for the name. So of course the next step will be to display what our name is. Of course we could do something like console.writeline. My name is Dominic, but if we want to slightly automate it, make it you know, make us input ourselves what the age is. Like, for example, if this was some kind of a form, the form would know what is the name, but it would know to say what my name is as part of the program. So that's what we're going to do next as a part of the, the input section. Okay, and an awkward cut in the video. Sorry for this, I had a call that I had to pick up. So I've put my name in and now if we test this out, it's going to give us, there you go, what is your name? My name is Dominic. We can change that to absolutely anything. So I'm just going to, oh, and press play. And what I'll do is it will always input here because what this does is it's basically storage. It stores whatever is in here. So now let's just do the same for age. Now we could use a float, but there is no point because age is not a f is usually a full number. It, there is usually no decimals in an age, so we'll call it age because it's appropriate. And then copy these guys over like this. Change this to age. Change this to age. Change this to age. There we go. Perfect. Again, we have to assign a value. So we'll just do 24, because that's my age, right? Yeah, probably, yeah, 100%. Now, if we press play, we should have four lines, we do. Now, so this is how, this is basically the basic input-output with the use of variables, but of course, this is not actually very useful. I mean, it kind of is, let's just say you have a database and you open up the database and uh, the database automatically loads all of your information. Like, I don't know, for example, you log into your online banking and it will have your name at the top. It will have um, how much money you have. 
and etc cetera, etc cetera. so they will probably have variables that store your money and store your name so that when the website loads it automatically outputs that of course it's not going to be in the console right line but it's definitely similar but let's just say we um, we are filling out a questionnaire a form we would probably want to as a user put in the name ourselves because that data has to be saved somehow so for example when you fill out documents to register with a bank you have to put your name down and this is basically what we're going to do we're going to put that name down ourselves so what we're going to do is we're going to make a line here oh first of all we're going to remove these so right now they're unassigned if we try to play it now it's not gonna work there you go there's errors because they're not assigned so what we'll do is we are going to input our, them ourselves so we're just going to make name and we're going to make it equal to something and what we're going to equal it oh i just realized that when i press something my screen goes black Not read line i think it's a setting on my recording that does that so console.readline for name let's just see if it works oh i know what it is it's when i make a full stop is it yep I need to change that later. <laughs> so full stops will change to a blank screen. It's good to know. So let's input this out. What is my name? Oh, there you go. It's kind of stopped here because now um, it's thinking. So I'm going to use a different name. Nervert. Yeah. And there we go. It displays. When I close and play again, Again, it does the same, so now we'll be Larry, and it displays Larry. Now we can, now that it's saved, it will be always saved for as long as our program runs. So what we can then do is actually on select that one and put name plus, and then what is your age? So now if we put our name, It'll print it twice, basically. Now, let's finish it off by inputting our age. I think it's going to be a good point to finish the video. It's been pretty long probably already. So we'll do age and equal to console.readline. Oh, that's right. When I make read lines, it gives me um, the screen move. Now, but here we have an error. And why do we have an error? Oh. That's basically because console.readline reads text and this is a number, an integer. So if we actually change this to a string, that'll be fine. But that means that when we ask someone for age, they can just input a number, I mean a letter. So they can put, I don't know, something like this as a response, which is probably not what we want. We just want to store the number. So... The workaround is to convert basically uh -huh, to convert our there we go integer into a text. So in dot parse is the keyword. There's a few other ones that you can use, but this is the one I'm just gonna use for this video. Now I think this is probably the most self-explanatory part of programming. You output with write line you input with read line so you read you write it's some it's one way to remember it i guess now let's do this one more time dominic what is your age 24 and there we go it shows 24 and that's the first application that i did displaying variables well uh, briefly going over variables and some basic input and output 